Oh, hey, what's happening? Get one, Sir James, coming at you guys with another video. In today's video, I have an update in regards to a video that I did last week, and that's involving these arcade cabinets by the company known as Arcade One Up. Now, since my original video, which do keep in mind that that was fresh out of the box uh, in terms of the announcements and all the information that was currently available, however, a lot has changed since then, and we've also learned a few different things as well through Twitter, which I've been trying to follow along and trying to get some of the answers that you guys have been asking. So first off, if you haven't seen the original video or don't know exactly what this is, uh, these are arcade cabinets that are coming out to the consumers like us, and these are by a company known as Arcade One Up, which are basically to be uh, replicas of the actual arcade machines, but do keep in mind that for one, these are going for a much more affordable cost rate. Even though their MSRP price tag is $400, all the retailers for the most part are selling it for $300, which is a pretty good deal in my opinion. On top of that, these are a bit smaller than the actual original arcade cabinets because one, they wanted to make it affordable, and two, they wanted to make it easy for consumers to one, be able to get these items and to have them in their apartments or whatever space that they're going to put these in, and that's why they are three-fourth the initial scale and at the size they originally are. Now, of course, on top of that, they have uh, two different accessories. This one right here, the stool, actually has been officially canceled, but you'll see the post about that in just a moment. And this over here is known as their riser. Now, a lot of people have been wondering how much is the riser going to be. In an earlier video, they stated that the riser was going to be $100, which is a bit ridiculous in my opinion. However, it has been confirmed that the riser is going to be about $40 to $60. I believe Walmart will carry it for $40, and other places might have it for, again, between that price tag. Now, if you don't know what the riser is, essentially what it is is that something that you build and goes onto the bottom, and then either by yourself or with the help of someone, you lift the arcade cabinet on top of the riser. So instead of having a situation where you sit down and play, you'll be able to stand up and play instead. And again, this is just all about personal preference on how you like to play your arcade games. And of course, the last thing to go over as well is one, GameStop has also reduced the price to $300 to match Walmart's price tag. And unfortunately, one of these arcade cabinets actually have been delayed until fall 2019. If you've looked in terms of pre-orders, you'll notice the Asteroids, Street Fighter, Rampage, and of course Centipede are available for pre-order. But this one right here, which is the Final Fight arcade cabinet, and that's the one that I've been wanting as well, has been delayed until next year, which I am completely upset about. I was really looking forward to getting my hands on this. But if anything, honestly, I think I'd probably pick the Centipede as my second option, which is this one right here. So I'll probably get that one on launch instead. Uh, anyways, moving on over is, um, let's see, the first one is in regards to the ROMs. Uh, someone was wondering, are these the arcade ROMs or are these like the ROMs from like the NES and SNES and all that? And they have confirmed that these are in fact the arcade ROMs and they're aiming to deliver the arcade perfect gameplay. Uh, the next one over is in regards to the Final Fight cabinet and they stated that it's not going to be out until spring of 2019, which is very unfortunate. So I know there's going to be a lot of people upset, but hopefully be well worth the wait. Uh, next one is in regards to the emulation. You know, are these just running emulation? Are these using the Raspberry Pis? Are these hackable? And basically they stated that they are working on their own official hardware, which will play the original arcade ROMs. And that's what we have on that one. Uh, the next one is in regards to the stool, and they basically stated that they are no longer going to be selling the stool and that the CEO was not happy with the quality of it and wasn't comfortable in selling it, which is perfectly fine. You could probably find uh, better alternatives, to be honest, unless if you want to get the riser and stand up and play. Um, but again, there's ways to go around that. Um, let's see. Another question that people have been wondering is, will they be selling any blank cabinets? You know, just have a blank canvas right there and for you to put your own hardware in it. And they basically said they will not be doing that. Uh, but now the next thing as well is, um, for one, I wasn't able to get any type of confirmation whether or not that you'll be able to um, 
basically upgrade the actual buttons like if you could just remove the panel and if you wanted to maybe upgrade or replace some of the buttons or maybe the joystick I'm assuming that you will be able to but again this is not my confirmation I'm just making a personal guess here I don't see why they wouldn't have that as an option but as far as hacking the actual system goes, it doesn't seem like that's going to be an option for you guys. Now, also too, a lot of people have been wondering, are they going to be releasing other ones or are these the only ones that we are going to get? And they are going to be coming out with two more this year, which actually has been confirmed by them, but it wasn't supposed to be announced yet because Walmart did leak a Galaga machine, which has two games in it. So that one will be coming out, I believe it's going to be announced in October. And GameStop also had leaked another one on their promo page, which since then has been removed. So that's why I don't have an image here to show you guys. Um, but the one that was leaked at GameStop was a Space Invaders arcade cabinet. And unfortunately, I don't know if that's just one game or multiple games, but I do know that the Galica arcade cabinet is going to be two different versions of that game. And then let's see, the other one as well is, of course, they are going to be coming out with other arcade cabinets and other games. Do keep in mind that the company does have to work with licensing and stuff like that, so they have to kind of get the rights to be able to use those games and, of course, to be able to sell as well. So I'm pretty sure that they have a lot of things going behind the scenes that we currently do not know as consumers. But it seems like they have their eyes open, you know, about Mortal Kombat. Um, let's see, Marvel vs. Capcom, hoping for that one. So um, I and do keep in mind that they are going to have huge announcements for some 2019 machines as well. And also, too, someone did ask them, are, would they consider doing maybe some of the cocktail machines? And they are looking into that one as well. So that could be a possibility for anyone who wants something like that, Pac-Man. So again, this is just basically going to be the beginning as it seems, and potentially this could grow to something pretty amazing. But until then, I'm going to have to wait until these come out. I'm going to try to get the Centipede one, and then uh, kind of go from there. But until then, I am Sir James from Gamer Fusion, and let me know in the comment section down below which games would you like to see included in these arcade cabinets, such as if you were to make a themed one, what games will be included, and of course, if there's any here that you want to get on launch also let me know in the comment section down below until then i'll see you guys next time